What's going on guys? I thought it might be worthwhile showing you the size of the box and then tight the packaging that the uh, uh, the uh, our box resurgence that's what I'm looking for the resurgence came in and the promotional um, clear um, I'll have to look at it but uh, the resurgence and the um, watertight box came in two very generic uh, cardboard boxes so getting them out of here and excuse the shape these jobs for the suction So there's that over here. Put that away. There's two boxes. I don't think I need a knife any longer. But I do like how Otter Box is keeping things simple and their packaging. Okay. Yeah, this is the uh, watertight. Let's see if there's a model on it. Yeah, the 2000 series waterproof carry all. Let's see if I can focus on that for you. You can see all the specs there. It, it came free with the. You can also see the size of it as it relative to my hand. Uh, it probably holds five, six phones or devices, a wallet, um, but that's not the start of the show. This should be the resurgence. Again, sorry for the shake. Okay, this is the standard uh, packaging that most defenders come in. There's resurgence. Apparently, and the other part about this, it doesn't have a screen protector built in like the defender. Focus, there we go. But it has military grade drop protection, um, which makes it J-proof for me. So, alright, I'll get this out of the box, put this box away, and I'll show you how it's set up. Okay, now the this is the outer box for surgeons, and it's in two pieces. At the moment I have it separated. I'll put the phone in it uh, to show you what it looks like when it's put together. But this is the back plate that contains the... Uh, battery. It's a 2000 milliamp uh, battery. Um, some of its competitors, I think, um, it's called the Max Power. It's a, if you go on Amazon, it's the number one seller for battery cases. Uh, I think that's 2400 milliamp, so it's actually a little bit bigger in terms of battery size than this. Uh, but I've always been a fan of OtterBox since the iPhone 4, uh, especially the Defender, which is here. Um, so, essentially, this is pretty simple as far as putting it together. Uh, the lightning connector is down here, so you know what I'll do. I'll zoom in, Let's see if this works, it should work. Zoom in. Um, Lightning connector is here when, it's, when, it's, when the top plate is not on. There's actually a barcode there and that's the button for the power to turn it on and off. The texture, as you can see, is... There's, a, there's, not, there's not, not a whole lot of grip to it. It's a little padded. It's a little soft to the touch, but there's no grip. 
And I think the reason for that is because of the method that you need to put your phone into and out of it. Because you need to slide it onto the lightning connector, as you can see here. So, if you, I'll let you listen to it. It clicks on in, just like you would with your basic charging cable. So then at that point, it's in the case, and you could use the case like this if you wanted to naked, um, just to see if it works. But we'll put a new, I, at this point, I've taken this case apart and taken the phone in and out of it like four times, um, just to try and get the hang of it. So. You put it on from the base, moving your way up to the top. And it can be more pay attention to the sides. See how it's a little bit of a gap there. Focus. Come on. See it snapping on. So now it's snap good and on there. Um, the face of the phone is naked. There's no built-in screen protector as there is in the Defender series. So it's more like the commuter. It does have the military grade protection. There is a bit of a of a lip. So if you do put it face down on a tabletop. It will not scratch, provided that the tabletop is flat. So, let's see if I can get a reflection of the light. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I am here. There we go. So you can see how there's a bit of a lip there. Hopefully it's in focus for you. Alright. So, uh, um, as far as form factor, pocket real estate, it's no thick. No, no more thick than the Defender. It may actually be a tad bit slimmer. It's not rubberized, the texture, like the Defender skin, so it's smooth. So, uh, it'll come in and out of the pocket much easier, but it'll also slide in your hand easier, too. So you gotta keep that in mind. Um, it is longer, because it has this added area at the base. Which is why they include the uh, headphone jack extender and that clicks in quite easily and it also doubles as a searching for focus. It doubles there we go. It doubles as a um, wrangler for your uh, headphones. Yeah, if you use the standard earbuds rather than, uh, you know, cans or on-ear on headphones. Um, so, let's talk about how the case actually works. When you, here, I'll zoom in real quick. Alright. This button here is how you turn it on and how you actually check the status. So, to check the status, you just click it and you'll see that it lights up. Hopefully you can see that with the bright light. I believe you can. It lights up from 9 o'clock to 9 o'clock counterclockwise in increments of 4. So if I hit it, you should be able to see that we got 9, 6, and 3 and the 12 portion is not lit. So it's 3 quarters charged. The battery pack that is, not the phone. The phone is We'll zoom out a little bit. This phone itself, I keep forgetting I can just do that. The phone is at 98%. So here's how it works in terms of turning it on. All you do is push and hold. It'll blink three times. You can see it's charging now.
So it'll blink three times, and then the last time it blinks, it'll tell you how much juice it has. At the same time, it goes to sleep in that time. If I wake it up, you should be able to see. Zoom in. You should be able to see that it is indeed charging the phone. It's not really going to focus, is it? Uh, kind of, but you can see the little lightning icon that tells you that it's charging. So, same way you turn it off, you just push and hold for a second. It blinks once, and the charge icon is done, and it'll tell you how much juice is left in the case. Speaking of that, if you, you can turn it off, stop charging at any time like I just did, but the case is also smart enough to shut itself off uh, once the phone hits 100%. Uh, whatever remaining battery power will be uh, stored with, by the case. It shuts itself off and doesn't continue to uh, leak power uh, into the phone or anywhere else for that matter. So. Um, it's supposedly, yeah, I guess if you want to use it, the verbiage smart like that. So that's about it, really. Um, the, the biggest thing that I noticed, just taking it on and off uh, on this table, and this table is just a card table. It's um, not hard or rough by any stretch of imagination, but look at on the on the edge here hopefully you can see it um, on the on the edge right where it curves down to where it tapers uh, you might be able to see how it's actually gotten about a bit of a scuff here and it's a permanent scuff and I've only had this I've only been handling this for half an hour putting it onto this card table so um, it's definitely not going to, uh, it's going to get pretty beat up, I think, in your pocket and in anywhere else you put it, for that matter, the, the back of it. Uh, I think it will protect your phone just fine. The, the faceplate is going to be naked as, um, you know, given that it doesn't have a built-in faceplate like the uh, Defender does. So, that's naked, but as far as the case is concerned, uh, it's going to get pretty scratched up, I think. I don't think it's going to withstand or stay pretty. So, that's just one kind of uh, vanity type thing that I noticed as I have been uh, toying with this thing for the last 45 minutes to an hour, uh, taking it on and off. So, time will tell with regard to that, but again, I'm more concerned with protection and in this particular case, having the ability to not be out of juice by, uh, you know, two in the afternoon or what have you. So, hopefully, if you're considering this new case that's put out, the Outer Box, Outer Box, Outer Box, yeah, Outer Box has put out. Hopefully, this video has helped um, put it next to the Defender to give it a bit of scale for you in case you like me, have a Defender. It's the same height or thickness, it's just a bit longer. So, again, in terms of pocket real estate, it's the same width, uh, both, and depth, I guess, the width and the depth, the length of it is a little longer. Probably about what the iPhone 6 is going to be by itself. Um, so, Hopefully you dug the review. If you did, appreciate the thumbs up as always. If you have any questions about this case, leave them down below and I'll get back to you on it. Uh, so, until the next one, catch you guys later. See you.